Alright, so this is my Foucault tester. Um, here's my micrometer dial. Uh, it's pushing the carriage via this block over here. And you can see how the screw turns. And it's um, touching this. Uh, it's supposed to be a Teflon piece, but uh, we used uh, furniture moving sliders. They work pretty well. Uh, you can see the carriage slides also over this slider here and uh, we have a knob here to tilt the carriage up or down to move the, the uh, knife edge in or out. I got a 26 millimeter uh, plossal eyepiece, a little lens here in the front and it's just glued to a quarter inch uh, sink trap pipe. Here is my knife's edge and the slit and uh, here's some uh, springs to be able to pull the carriage back when we turn the micrometer dial the other way. Here's a battery holder and it's got the um, on off switch over here so there's no need for uh, an additional toggle switch. And uh, here's my light bulb. I actually have uh, four batteries in here so it's a six volt bulb and it works pretty well. Um, this piece comes off here. And it's made out of wood. Actually, uh, Richard Berry recommends making this inverted U out of uh, aluminum. But uh, we just made it out of wood. Um, otherwise, it's uh, pretty straightforward. I put we put this um, additional spring here for uh, um, additional support for the carriage because this screw over here is a little bit further back, so it's not well balanced. You can see if I push down here, it does this. So this screw, this um, spring here, actually helps to um, level it out. I'm sorry, this uh, spring here. You got the rod here, that's where the uh, carriage slides. And uh, that's pretty much it. All you have to do is look through the scope and um, if you're uh, located correctly, you'll be able to see all the shadows on your mirror and everything. So that's it.